Future Perfect. Mastering Passive Voice in Future Tense. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to tackle an essential aspect of English grammar, the passive voice in future tense. This can be quite tricky, but don't worry. We're here to guide you through the process and provide tips to use it more effectively. So, let's get started. To start, it's crucial to understand what we mean by passive voice in future tense. In English, we use the passive voice to show that the subject of the sentence is being acted upon, rather than doing the action. In the future tense, this is often combined with words like will or going to, to indicate something that will happen in the future. Here is a typical example of this. Active voice. The company will launch the new product next week. Passive voice. The new product will be launched by the company next week. In the passive sentence, the focus is on the new product rather than on the company. There are a few common mistakes that people often make when using the passive voice in the future tense. Here are some examples. Incorrect verb form. The project will being finished tomorrow. Correct. The project will be finished tomorrow. Wrong word order. Will the new version be by the team released? Correct. Will the new version be released by the team? Remember, the correct structure is will plus be plus past participle. Now, let's dive into some tips to help you use the passive voice in the future tense more effectively. 1. Focus on the action. Use the passive voice when the action is more important than the doer. For example, the new website will be launched next week, emphasizes the launching of the website, not who is doing the launching. 2. Use when the doer is unknown or irrelevant. If you don't know or it doesn't matter who is performing the action, the passive voice is your go-to. Example. The keys will be found. It doesn't matter who will find them. 3. Be clear and concise. Don't overuse the passive voice. It can make your sentences longer and more complex. Use it when it's needed and effective. 4. Double check your verb forms and word order. As we discussed earlier, remember to use the correct structure, will plus be plus past participle, and always double check your sentences. Well, there you have it. With a bit of practice, using the passive voice in future tense will become second nature. Remember the tips we've discussed today and keep practicing. We hope this video has been helpful, and remember, mastery comes with practice. Keep up the good work, and see you in our next video.